Hey everybody, here's a drill for you. So this is going to basically be using left and right spin, draw and trying to navigate the rails. This is a great drill to kind of understand where the side pocket is and how you're supposed to hit a ball to get past the side or play it before the side and pop out above the side pocket. Um, all of these shots, you have to come above the side pocket. Uh, you can start trying to just make them and try to play position. But, um, you know, the end goal is to try to get behind the side pockets, basically to the middle of the table, just like that. A lot of these are kind of the row shots where you're aiming thick and instead of going left with right English, it's kind of spinning it in and going the opposite way. So if you aim thick, it's going to go a little bit to the right on this one. So it's kind of spinning it in and making the pocket a little bigger. I've been practicing this drill quite a bit because it comes up so much and you really need to just be comfortable throughout, you know, the rail navigation because it comes up just about every game. You know, you don't want to get too straight and you want to be comfortable with leaving yourself a little angle like this. Because if you're not comfortable with a little angle, then you're going to get too straight on everything Then you're not going to be able. Sometimes you'll just get stuck because you don't have enough angle to move the cue ball around or you're going to have to force a tough shot. And it's just, you know, it's run enders, is what I call it. You know, it just ends your run, so. Yeah, so setting them up again here. Um, the thing is, a lot of people try to force these balls. You just have to try to play it. You don't have to come all the way in to the side rail. Um, you just kind of draw it out to the middle of the table. And you just have to trust yourself that you'll get to the middle of the table, which is tough, unless you practice it, obviously, so... This is another thing this drill is good for is kind of just cruising into position instead of trying to force your way there, right? Because the more you trust it, uh, obviously the better the pocket will accept it. And there you go, a little fist pump. Uh, I thought that ball, I thought I missed that ball, but, you know, a good stroke will help that ball go in. So a little left on this ball. And again, just, I kind of got into that one. But the cleaner you hit the ball with your stroke... You know, the cleaner your stroke is, the easier the pocket accepts it. Um, here, you just kind of come to the middle of the table. Take what it gives you. Don't try to force it. See, that was really clean. There we go. Yeah, I've been practicing a new pre-shot routine. Uh, totally different. It's a little more deliberate than I'm used to, but it was much needed. And I've been putting a lot of work in with this pre-shot routine. I've been playing, you know, six to ten hours a day. Um and it's it's really paying off so i'm <laughs> i'm seeing uh changes in my game my stroke already and consistency level um yeah it's pretty great so low right on this again and you see how it's just kind of cruising into position right that's what we're looking for right there yeah low left on this Right, no hesitation through the stroke, which I've been working on a lot. Just trying to get as cleanly through the ball as I can and using as much energy with less amount of effort or, you know, doing more with less. That's basically what it is. Taking what the table gives you. You know, it's 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 easy to know, but hard to do. So if you would like more videos like this, please like, comment, and share. It means a lot, and I will see you all in the next one.